Dillo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell. Now let's continue to go to family from Chicago to the UK. We got Ali G on bullying. This is a real epidemic going on right now. And it's crazy that he talked about it how many years ago. And now he's really, really, really talking about it. I mean, now it's really, really, really going on hard. Like people is, you know. Taking their own selves off this earth because of they getting willy, man. Don't bully people. Simple as that, man. Let's get into it. Respect. Check it out. Today we is chatting about education. Let's talk about something that people don't like to chat about, a tattoo subject. <laughs> What's that, a tattoo subject? You mean a taboo subject? Taboo. I ain't gonna cap his, uh, his lining on his gold tea crispy today. I still look homeless. All right. Teacher-student relationships. Should kids what? ever be allowed to date no. their teachers? No. Wait a minute. Is this bullying or? Okay. Definitely not. But in school, my French teacher, Miss Bird, used to totally fancy me. This was clearly mislabeled. You know, always looking at me, you know, speaking French to me, bonjour, bonjour. And you could like see she was interested, you know. But it was never allowed to happen because see she was interested, you know. He's clearly fully entertained by the story Ali G is telling. But it was never allowed to happen because she was grown up, I was 13, even though I had a full tash upstairs and down. <laughs> Why was I not allowed to date her? Because your relationship is a student, not a, the relationship but of a lover. You're a, student, a minor. She was interested, you could see. If your teacher had been interested in... Martha Kutz. National Cathedral School for Girls, okay. Another student in your class. How would you have felt about the grades that uh, she was giving that student as opposed to the grades she was giving you? So you, so what she did was went to preferential treatment. And not, not the fact that that's a 13-year-old boy and a grown woman. That's the real issue. Grades, whatever. Sums up with her. <laughs> Watch her. But don't you think students would study harder if there was a incentive? If the teacher would say, <laughs> whoever studies hardest this term gets to play with these? <laughs> no. <laughs> Woo! I'm not. I, man, listen. If, if I was when I was in high school, if that was an incentive, an, 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 an incentive. Me personally, I'm not, I can't speak for anybody else. In YouTube, I don't condone this at all. I'm just speaking on my own behalf. I would have got straight A's. I would have been an A student. I would have been in Harvard right now. Honestly, I would not be in front of this computer or none of that. I'd be a Harvard graduate, Alpha Cap Omega, the top of my class is what I'm trying valedictorian. No, no, uh, if there was no. Why out of not? the question, out of the question, we've said why. If we ask young age, people watching totally this program what incentives they want to learn, I don't believe that nearly Martin Blank Institute of Educational Education. any of those young people would say these. That's not they. That's not what they would say. Maybe that's not what. Not what I would have said back in the day as an incentive because it wouldn't have crossed my mind maybe. But if it was presented as an option, Harvard Law. Let's talk about bullying in schools. Oh, it is bullying. Yeah. It's a well serious problem, isn't it? Was anyone here bullied in school? Oh, All of them. Guaranteed. Every one of them. Sure, of course. Yeah, uh, I, I understand I, I, let's, that. let's make a distinction though. I think between Dr. Jeffrey Whalen, American Academy of Liberal Education, bullying and real violence and danger. 
Uh, There's no distinction anymore. Bullies, now at least, I don't know. You know, bullying gets more and more severe by the year, but like, a bully can really put you in severe danger. Like, violence happens. I think between bullying and real violence and danger, uh, because I don't think there's any place for allowing violence in a school. So you must have been bullied. What sort of things did they call you? Where, don't tell me. Le oh, no, let I me let, let me guess. Yeah. What like four eyes? Or no, no, no. I like didn't wear smelly glasses. Or no, no. I I didn't wear what, glasses. Like, then. Uh, gay boy or something like that? No, no. Gay lord. I, I wasn't bullied all through school, but I do remember one occasion. <laughs> what kind of things did they call you? No, no. Uh, they didn't call me like, anything. They, uh, la di da di boy, fifi man. I honestly can't remember, <laughs> but I do. Re I do. Seems like you have a suppressed memory. You've suppressed these memories. Maybe you should go see a psychologist to bring them to the forefront and make sure that you've really dealt with what you needed to deal with as in your adult years. That's all. I do remember, you know, getting in fights I really didn't want to simply because I was being picked on. I sort of thought that's what you meant. But what kind of thing did they, was you bullied for? Like your, your, what? I guess they the, thought that I was weaker years, than they were. <laughs> they, you thought, they thought you as well? Yeah. Weaker. weaker. Yeah, weaker. I guess they weaker. thought, yeah, I guess they, they picked on me because they thought. I go cap. This dude right here, he said he stood up for himself. He wasn't going. He was teaching bullies lessons out here. Okay. I didn't get my heights until junior high or high school. Oh, so you was like small. You was I like was small little, for a while, yeah. And then yeah, I like a little runt of the litter. Mm -hmm. So what they call you, like small boy. And I honestly don't remember any any names or anything, but there, there was something like that. And if even if you have an experience, I mean, it's not that hard oh, to imagine man. this sort of... Hey, Ali G, no, this is the greatest, the greatest. This might be one of the top episodes of Troll. He is, he is and this dude is so calm. He's so patient. I sort like of thing. Uh, and it shouldn't be allowed to the degree that it could be stopped. Right, don't go on about it, little boy. Schools are social boy. settings, right? <laughs> schools are social settings. So you have to pay attention to the relationships between <sighs> kids and the relationships between teachers and students. So does you think there's too many rules in school? In school? You I didn't mean... ask you for us. Right? Oh, all right, oh. wise guy. <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, yeah, yeah. I ain't so small. I ain't like little runner litter. Oh, is that right? I oh, suppose right, don't laugh, right? This. You're what? I wouldn't laugh. All right. Right. Well, what? Or is there some threat behind that, sir? Yeah, you may laugh. But I bet I could beat you up. I'm not so sure of it. Maybe we ought to try. It. Hey, he's a stepper. Shout out to this dude for stepping. I like him. <laughs> we want to big up all my guests here tonight. He's a real Keep one. Keep it real. He is unhappy. <laughs> That's funny. Keep your mind. Keep thinking. <laughs> Keep studying. TLO man, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification, man. If there's any if there's any if there's any place that you want to follow me social media wise, the links will be down in the description, man. Um, this week, just to let y'all know, man, the videos are going to be, like, shorter videos. Because I got my baby, my mom's in town. We're dealing with a lot of stuff going on. Y'all feel it, man. I already got I don't got to explain. Y'all know what's going on. That's why I fuck with y'all. Go. <laughs>